To get started, I'm just going to drag a video clip from my media bin onto the video track on my timeline. We're not actually going to use this clip though, we're only putting it here to satisfy the program's requirement of starting with a bottom video clip. I'm doing this because the program's automatic snap feature is only going to get in our way when making our loop. So just click this eye toggle to disable the track. Now let's click this plus button at the top of the timeline and select add video track. Then drag the clip from the media bin onto the newly added video track and position it at the start of your timeline. Make sure your clip is selected and then move the playhead to the middle of your clip. Click the scissors button to split the clip at the playhead's position. Now just select the second part of the cutout clip and drag it above the first part to automatically create another video track. Then drag your middle clip so that its beginning is overlapping with the top clip's end. Next, double click your top clip to open up the clip properties and go over to the general tab. In here, increase the fade out to one second. Okay, and there I have a smoother transition where the clips overlay instead of a hard cut. Now before we start looping, make sure you click the video tracks link toggle to unlink the top and middle tracks, otherwise the next steps won't work right. Then drag to select your top two video tracks, and then copy them. Move the playhead to the end of your middle video track, and paste your clips at that position to create your first loop. The great thing about this technique is that because I cut and swap my video clips at the beginning, this cut will be smooth despite looking like a hard cut. Now keep moving the playhead to the end of your last clip and pasting your clips for as long as you want your loop to go for. The other great thing about doing it this way is that all the fades will line up right so you won't have to manually add them at the end of each loop. And you'll no longer need this bottom video clip so you can just delete it to save some rendering time. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.